Hi everyone, it's Lou Collins. Thank you so much for joining me today. Now I have got another video in the Distress Ink and Oxide colour combination series and today we're looking at Lucky Clover, so a beautiful green. Um, with everything that I'm using, including the brushes, the labels that are, that are on my pads, the um, colour chart and of course the inks and the blending mat, everything is linked down below for you. So, um, And I'll talk through items as I'm using them as well. So let's get started first of all with swatching this beautiful green colour. So just pop a blending mat down there to protect my surface. Now I'm always going on to white cardstock again, linked in the description, it's the CCP, so the Creative Craft Products stamping um, cardstock that I use. It's nice and smooth and it takes ink beautifully. So this is the gorgeous Lucky Clover. I always think it looks a little more green on paper than it does on the um, label. Now let me just grab, one thing I didn't prepare is some tissue and some water just to clean my mat with. So I always do this because otherwise I will stick my finger in it and so on and so forth. Right, so let's take a look at this. First of all with the label, do you see what I mean? It just, it's brighter than the label, I think, ever so slightly. A little more green rather than the sort of blue tone that I see coming through on the label. Quite similar though to the ink pad colour. So the ink pads are always darker because they are saturated with ink. Now let's look at the colour chart and let's compare this to some other greens in the range. So we've got, let's pull these three out, so blues and greens. Now this colour chart is one that I've filled in, so uh, downloaded from my website, my blog. Um, you can download that, print it off at home and fill it in at your leisure with the colours that you have and it's a really good way of seeing which colours you're missing as well. So we've got um, Lucky Clover just here, okay, so you can see that there when it's dry it does go a little more creamy. Uh, evergreen Bow, sorry I keep saying it wrong, Evergreen Bow, <laughs> I will get it right eventually, Evergreen Bow is uh, slightly, again, a slightly more muted green there, not too far off though. Rustic Wilderness is really much darker. Mode Lawn is much more of the yellow tones. I do definitely think this has got more of a blue undertone. Let's come down to Pine Needles. And again, not too dissimilar. So along the four there, I think if you're doing a colour combination and you have any one of the Pine Needles, Evergreen Bow, Lucky Clover or Rustic Wilderness, I think you could substitute any one of those for each other, really. You're going to get similar results. Obviously nothing sitting on the yellow side here and nothing really close on the blue side there either. Okay, so hopefully that helps you just comparing them to other colours in the range. And next let's do a couple of colour combinations. Now the first one is going to be into Peacock Feathers and then into Twisted Citron. So let's see how this looks. Now I'm... I've said lately a lot, I really, really love this colour, um, but Peacock Feathers for a long time has been a favourite because I love teals. If you know, if you followed me for a long time, you know I really, really do love teals, aquas, turquoise, all of those colours. Look how beautifully this blends into Lucky Clover. As I said earlier, I feel that Lucky Clover has a bit of a, a blue base to it. It's almost verging on the, getting close to the turquoises with that sort of green. Now with each of these colour combinations that I'm giving you, you may not want to use or uh, replicate the entire combination in a project. You might want to take inspiration from just two of the colours together or from a four colour combination, just three of the colours together maybe. You might even want to skip a colour in the middle somewhere and, and just do three of the four in a different order. You, know, you can do that. I'm just giving you some inspiration for colours that I think work nicely together. So again, just wipe the mat off there and then we're going to go into Twisted Citron. So a beautiful bright green, sort of a lime green. I think I used this actually in one of my recent combination videos. It was so beautiful. And I really like the green that you get between Peacock Feathers and Twisted Citron here too. So just coming back to Peacock Feathers, just to blend the two together. So little circles as always. 
and just keep working at it and keep working. You're not going to be lifting any colour up and you're not going to over apply colour either. There we go. I think that's about right. So going from the Lucky Clover into Peacock Feathers and into Twisted Citron. Now you've also got a touch of the green there too. So you're kind of getting that green twice. So maybe it would have been better to do Peacock Feathers first, then Lucky Clover, then Twisted Citron perhaps, and then you wouldn't get the additional band of green in the middle. But it depends what you're looking for, doesn't it? You can definitely try mixing and matching the colours and the combinations and which order they go in. So there's our first combination. Now let's just have a quick, um, quick sort out, pop those to the side, wipe my mat, and let's go in with another colour combination. Now this one's going to be toned down a little and we're not going to start with Lucky Clover. Let's start with Iced Spruce. So Iced Spruce is a grey green. It certainly is more of a grey than a green. So we're going to put that on the end, just there, and then go into Lucky Clover. So much more of a bright green here. There we go. Let's bring some more iced spruce up so we don't lose that. Then let's get these two mixing together nicely. Again, they've both got a green base, so they're going to, or blue green base even, so they should mix together quite nicely. There we go. That's actually really lovely the way those two have blended. Really nice. Then I'm going to go from green into a brown, but it's going to be rusty hinge. So it's a brown, a warm, very warm brown, almost a terracotta colour. And again, I'm looking very, I'm very much looking forward to doing the Rusty Hinge video when we get to it. If you're just catching this for the first time, we're actually covering all the Distress Oxide colours alphabetically, um, going through each one and looking at each one in this way. So if you've got a favourite colour, if it comes before Lucky Clover, we've already covered it. And if it comes afterwards, we will get to it. Now, green and orange are certainly two colours that I wouldn't usually mix together. They sort of go brown between the two, because of course red and green. But I think these two will just work nicely, especially in this combination. So just working carefully at the join line there, making sure there we go, that's blended beautifully between those two. And one more wipe just before we do the last colour, which is going into Spiced Marmalade, a bright orange. Now, the reason I didn't go from the bright green into the bright orange, so from Lucky Clover directly into Spiced Marmalade, is just because I thought they would be too bright together. I just thought that wouldn't quite sit. So we needed that sort of middleman, a rusty hinge between the two, just to kind of, just to work, just to tone it down. Green into a brown almost. It goes fine, absolutely beautifully. Um, and then into the orange. So it's almost sort of, like I say, a little bit of a springboard to jump from that cool green into the really warm orange. So the colours there for that combination, which is something a little bit different, are Iced Spruce, Lucky Clover, Rusty Hinge, and then Spiced Marmalade. So there's two new colour combinations for you to try out here. We're all using Lucky Clover. So there we go. Hope you've enjoyed this and uh, taken some inspiration from it. Of course, as always, I will be back with the next video in the series again in the next few days. But if you did enjoy this, I'd love it if you could give me a thumbs up on the video. If you could share the videos as well, any certainly any of your favourite colours with all your crafting friends. And lastly, if you could subscribe to my channel, it would be very much appreciated. Thank you, everybody. I'll see you again very, very soon. Take care.